Cool, cool. I'm Dave Ratt, and today let's talk about balanced lines and pin two and pin three hot equipment. Um, one thing I found really interesting is this discussion over whether a console or piece of gear is pin two or pin three hot. Um, and an answer you may or may not expect is if there's only XLRs on it, then pin two and pin three hot are irrelevant. It makes no difference. Pin two and pin three hot have no meaning for a balanced in, balanced out piece of equipment that uses the same connector on the input and the output. So if you have a mixing board that's got 24 XLR ins and eight XLR outs, and there's not a single quarter inch on the, on the entire unit. It's both pin two and pin three hot. Uh, with balanced lines, both pin two and pin three are hot. The actual concept of pin two or pin three hot has to do with when we convert from an XLR to a quarter inch, an X from a balanced to an unbalanced, or we shift connector types from an XLR to another type of connector, we'd have to designate which of the pins from the XLR has the in polarity signal. Um, so pin two and pin three hot become extremely important or more important or relevant when you're dealing with the ends of the signal chain or if you're de dealing with the conversion of an XLR to another connector type or to an unbalanced XLR. For example, if you have a microphone that is pin too hot, theoretically, a positive pulse on the microphone diaphragm would create a positive pressure wave and create a positive pulse on pin two. If you have a microphone that's pin three hot, a positive pressure wave would create a positive pulse on pin three. Um, if you have a pin two hot and a pin three hot microphone and use them side by side and sum them together, you'll get some cancellations in uh, frequencies that are of the same, approximately the same level and being captured by both. Um, once you get into the XLRs, once you're into the console, XLR, what goes into a console on an XLR should come out of the console unless a polarity reverse switch is hit. So it doesn't matter if it's pin two hot or pin three hot, the console, as long as you're using all XLRs, it's irrelevant. Same thing with a compressor or a piece of outboard gear. But if you have a console that has an XLR input and as a quarter inch insert send, then a pin three hot console would have pin three going to the tip of that quarter inch send. And the tip of the quarter inch return would also be the impolarity for that console, pin three. A pin two hot console would type tip to pin two. If you come out of a console that is pin two hot or pin three hot, as long as you leave the console in the same format that you come back, if you leave it in quarter inch and you return in quarter inch, pin two and pin three hot don't matter. It doesn't affect you. Um, if you leave the console quarter inch and you come back into an XLR input, now we need to know where which of those pins is connected to the tip. So at some point, that conversion, either that conversion is done through an adapter in which case that adapter has the tip of that quarter inch soldered to the pin two or the pin three. So it's a pin two or pin three hot adapter. Uh, if the outboard piece of gear has, um, if you have a console that's pin two hot, which ties pin two to tip, sends to a piece of outboard gear and the tip goes into quarter inch and it comes out of the outboard gear, you use the XLR out. If that piece of Outboard gear is pin two hot and you go into the XLR, you're fine. If it's pin three hot, you'll have a reversal. Um, 
to go further down the rabbit hole. Let's go and look at the end of the spectrum. Where else do we have a conversion? If we're XLR to XLR to XLR, doesn't matter. As long as all your cables are wired, pin three to three and two to two, there is no hot, they're both hot, they're all the same. But when you get to an amplifier, here we are converting an XLR to banana plugs or an XLR to barrier strip or terminals. It's, it's no, no longer an XLR on the output, um, usually. Um, so now we need to know which of those pins on the XLR, pin two or pin three, a positive pressure, uh, voltage on pin two creates a positive voltage on the red terminal of the output of the amp, would be a pin two hot amp. Um, and then you get into a speaker. Once you've got a, a speaker isn't really pin two or pin three hot, but we need to know if the red terminal creates a outward motion or an inward motion. Almost all speakers made are positive voltage to red terminal creates an outward motion, except for older JBL speakers where positive voltage to the red terminal creates an inward motion, making things extremely complicated. Um, where do we switch these things? Where do you convert them is definitely an art form. If you have a pin two hot console and all pin two hot gear and all your adapters, quarter inch to XLRs are wired pin two to tip, you're golden. If you have pin three hot amplifiers, now you've got to adapt. Um, you could reverse the speaker leads on the output or you could have, uh, reversals. What typically we try and do when taking a pin three hot amp and we had to integrate it to a system or a, uh, um, with pin two amps, pin two hot amps, is we would put a polarity reverse adapter that switched pin two to three on the input of the amp, therefore converting it to a pin two hot amp and that adapter would be tie wrapped to it and just live with the amp and it would just always be with it. Going inside and modifying an amp is not advised because if you sell the amp or if it gets mixed in or you buy another amp, which ones are modified, you got to label them very well. Uh, switching the speaker terminals again is not advised because somebody works in the amp rack and there you go to the natural plus to plus and minus to minus and you've got reverses there in a club or something. You have a high probability of, um, of screwing that up. Um, okay, so thinking that stuff through, I will do uh, another video in a little while. I'll put it up soon where I talk about balance lines.